Xbox One review, and uh, my brother, the Rock God, aka the Cock Out, he rocks out. He's gonna he's gonna show you and just review it. And here goes a God honest opinion from True Gamers, Dave. Game of the Month. What's up, y'all? It's the boy, the Rock God. And what do we have? Herpes. I don't know about that. Is that an Xbox One controller? Oh, yes, it is an Xbox One controller. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so this is what's going to happen today. I'm going to tell you my God, that's an honest view on the Xbox One. You know, I've played all the systems, and I have my point of view, as well as everyone else will have their point of view on what's better, what's great, and whatnot. First thing I want to say about the new Xbox controller is it's actually um, pretty, it's lighter, lighter than the other ones, and the D-pad is amazing. I mean, it's... It's long overdue to have a D-pad this good. That's what I, that's all I can say about that. You got these buttons that really don't make a lot of fucking sense because you got this to go back to the menu, but you're hitting the Xbox button to go back to the menu, and then this is your pause button, and it does nothing. It does. It's basically a shortcut to your settings, which is stupid. The take a look at the screen real fast. Now you notice it's a lot less screen up here before that was uh, on regular Xbox 360. It's definitely harder to navigate, and that's because it's in its early phases right now. So if you wanted to go to the store right now, all right, check it out. I want to go look at some games. All right, the games for shopping. Oh joy! This is what they have. I mean, there is no. Xbox Arcade or this, and I think it's just only because it's in its early phases. So the interface for 360 is a hundred times better, if not a million. Do you, do you think that they they copy PlayStation 3 as far as for the like, interface? Yeah. No, because this is a shittier interface than the PS3. <laughs> I mean, PS3 was a, a shitty interface, but. And they actually had a good one at one point, and then he went backwards, which is fucking retarded. But the interface is really stupid for right now. And I think it's just because it's a rush product, again, with trying to get things out and just stupidity. Okay? Now, also, let me stand up for this one. Your Xbox camera here, right? It's comparing this to the old one. This is, is a way better quality. It yeah. definitely has way better quality. It has better gamma rating, so... My, my living room is, uh, is all white, so it'll pick up easy than, you know, a dark, because when I play in the dark, it'll still pick up a lot better. All, and uh, people say it does this and read your heartbeat, and, this is, and it has excellent face recognition, which is also decent. And I think a huge plus for me is that when you buy games, they come with these special barcodes. All right, this is the barcode I was talking about. Well, I don't even know what you want to call these things, but if you take this and you go to... Uh, let's see, if you want to, alright, let's go to games, it'll be in there, and it'll bring up, and it'll say, use, use a code. So if you buy something, all you gotta do is go up to your Xbox camera and go like this, 
Hey, I'm on candy camera, baby. <laughs> and it reads. Oh, that's so, you know, we already used the code, but that's a huge step up from typing in 25 fucking letters. You know, you would be in there all day, which is another plus. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me show you this again. You see, you're seeing from the flip camera. The wow, that, that, that's pretty clear. Yeah, you yeah. see how clear it is. It's very clear. It, it doesn't do it justice on, uh, like, on this camera right now. I look thick. <laughs> DJ Ellie style. What's up? Style. Now, <laughs> definitely, definitely huge, definitely huge improvement. Now, uh, also, for people who's trying to use the Xbox One on older model TVs, you're fucked. That's it. It's no port for the old HDMI cables, you know, with the yellow, green, red, orange. It's totally obsolete on this model. The component cables, yeah. yeah the component cables. You yeah. can't, there's no comp component. You're going straight HDMI, and that's it. Okay? Now, the Xbox One, you look at the size. The size quiet, sleek, nothing special. You know, it has USB, USB ports that's in the back. And it's, what, only two of them. So, which is the same thing like you have your two here. Nothing, again, nothing special. Okay? Now, as far as uh, gaming graphic-wise, it's nothing <coughs> that's going to <coughs> severely blow you away. You have to have a game that's really going to push the boundaries. Because none of these games, to me, push the boundaries. Nah, not Killer. It's a fighting game. Killer Instinct yeah. doesn't push any boundaries. I'm like, alright, cool. It feels like I'm playing a 360 game. So, it, the it, only it really time you're ever going to see a graphical, a severe graphical push is when you see, like... Halo 4, 5, or... Not even those, because those games is, oh, wow. But you want a breathtaking game, you got to wait for something from Bethesda. Because they're the only ones that says, oh, damn. That's some beautiful shit. So... That's my take for the uh, the gaming right now. It's, let's, I can say from what I see, it's a graphical push of like a 10%, which isn't much. You're basically paying for next generation, the title of that. And not soda. And not soda. <laughs> and also, the other killer is, it's like they, put, they try to push the Xbox with, with stupid things like the day one edition, your day one achievement. And, and by a man, I, can we get a close up? You do have the day one edition. The day one edition. O okay, rich fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to be the rock guy. It's a damn fine Beaujolais. All right, rock. It comes down to it. So far, who has the edge as far as best system? As far as has edge, I don't think anyone does. I mean, the hundred dollar price difference—it looks like it didn't make a difference to anyone. All the sales are equals. Actually, I think Xbox edged them out, even though they had more places to sell in. Um, and as far as I can say, is like which one is dominant? The which one is the best? So far, they're both equal. They both are in their early stages, and they both haven't produced anything that's worth. You know, jumping through hoops for it. That's it. I mean, I looked at all the games. You got the Killer Instinct ex exclusive for it, which is like, all right, cool. It's a fighting game. It's different. I mean, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Oh, yay, great. But it's not something that's going to say, I got to buy this system. No, not at all. You got this Rise of Rome thing. That's also another game that's just. Rome. Rome, Rise of Rome. Son of Summer Rise. Son of Rise. I don't give a shit, dude. The game is another subpar game. Four subpar. Ghost. I mean, like, dude, Ghost, uh, Battlefield. It's like all the same game. When you recycle this game, it's like, it, I'm done. I've been there, done that. PlayStation. Um, my, my game list on that is just like. Uh, Kill, Kill Zone. The Kill Zone. I didn't, I'm like, the Kill Zone is garbage. It's the same game. It's like, it's graphical. It's the same game. So, my final thoughts is when it comes down to which system is the best, they're. Are no one, none of them are the best. Uh, that's what I can say. It's Xbox interface is garbage. PS4's interface is garbage. I mean, uh, the Wii U. I mean, it's definitely better than those, but it had more time to adjust and with its updates. These feel like rush products. That's all it is. They're all just rush products, just to get out to make money. They're, the graphical increase for these systems are next to none. I mean, I can just say it's a ten percent difference. They haven't have. They don't have any games that push the boundaries at all. None. Not for PlayStation, not for Xbox, and not even the, the Wii. Well, we're never, we're never going to see anything graphic for the Wii. But absolutely nothing. You'll be wasting your time for that Rise of Rome and the Killer Instinct. Like, none of these games are saying, 
hey, no, 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 there's nothing's gonna grab your attention. You end up going back to playing your 360, your PS3, because you have more to mess with. When you come with the Metal Gear or anything from Bethesda, uh, Naughty Dog, when you see those graphical pushes, we'll we'll see then. No Drake. You want to release a release a PlayStation with no Drake? Got a got a war. At least a, at least got a war. I mean, like something like that. You gave me no reason to buy any of these systems. You know. That's it. I'm sorry, people. Or something like that, you'll see a graphical increase. How about Naughty Dog? The fuck is Naughty Dog? <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. the first time we had it right, man. We'll fuck this up. As far as I can say about these systems, you know, um, I own them, I play them every day. Why are you laughing, you fat fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All you out here say, oh, the Xbox is so much graphical, or the PlayStation, the processor, and the Blu ray player. People with the Fortha. Now, take Forza, shut up your ass. People, but the PlayStation, you can touch the controller. I'm touching the controller right now on my goddamn Xbox. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Hate you, people. Uh, uh, okay. Is there any questions? Nothing on your mind? Fucking fatty arbuckle. <laughs> I hate you. Let me tell y'all a story. This is bonus material. And this is the time for another date. D-Daily, give me the planet! Give me the planet! Bye.